Jerry. Elaine, hi. Hi, hi. David. Hi, Brad. <laughs> oh, uh, George, this is my husband, David. Oh, hi, David. Hello. <laughs> so, George, uh, you're the one who works for the Yankees, right? Yeah. Why? What do you do? Well, I sell insurance, but Beth used to be Don Mattingly's doctor. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> a physician married to a salesman. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Beth, you could have done a lot better than him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Jerry. My friend Kim called. David and Beth got separated last night. Huh? They're getting divorced! <laughs> so now, what is our move? What do we do? I don't know, but we don't have much time. Hmm. The city's probably teeming with people that have been waiting out that marriage. Right. It's like when a tenant dies in a rent-controlled building. You gotta take immediate action. Yeah, but David and Beth are gonna need their grieving time. Their grieving time's a luxury I can't afford. I'm calling Beth tonight, and if you want a clean shot of David, I suggest you do likewise. Yeah, yeah. But well, we gotta make it seem like we're not calling for dates. Well, then why are we calling? Good question. Why are we calling? Why are we calling? Calling. Why are calling. We calling? calling. Ah! I got it. I got it. We're calling just to say, I'm there for you. I'm there for you. Then, after a period of being there for you, we slowly remove the two words for you. And we're just there. It was nice to get your call. Well, I just want you to know I'm there for you. Of course, now I'm here for you, but when I'm not here for you, I'm there for you. <laughs> well, wherever you are, I appreciate it. So how did this all happen? Well, actually, it had a lot to do with George's comment. <laughs> Is that right? I thought maybe I could do better. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Well, it wasn't just that. I realized after three years of marriage that David's little quirks were getting on my nerves a little. Yeah, three years is a long time to be married. <laughs> like, in the middle of our fight last night, he did this thing that he always does, where he asks questions to himself aloud and then answers them. Am I happy Beth left me? Of course not. <laughs> Can I hope to pick up the pieces and move on? Absolutely. You gotta pick up the pieces. We just had our third anniversary on April 8th. Ten. Right. Right. You know, as far as I'm concerned, this whole thing is George's fault. Well, David, the thing about George is that he's an idiot. <laughs> did I have a great time with David Luckner last night? I sure did. Do I think there's a future here? I don't see why not. I'll tell you that. There for you, crap, was a stroke of genius. Oh, please. Never mind. Ah, oh, come on. You're a genius. All right. Mm! Hey. What's going on? What's going on? You're the man of the hour. That's what's that going on. Right. What do you mean? Well, thanks to you and your little comment there to David and Beth, Jerry and I are in prime pouncing position to scoop these two up before they know what hit them. Hi, Jerry. It's Beth. Oh, hi, Beth. Hi. I've been doing a lot of thinking today, and I don't know. Maybe I made a huge mistake. It's feeling very good. Um, I'll call you back, okay? Okay. Trouble. What? George. Is it? Yeah. Damn. What do we do? What do we do? You get your ass over to Best Tooth Sweet. That's what we do. You turn on some of that so-called charm you're always telling me about. Yeah, I can try and do that. You don't try, you do it. I got the loser in this relationship, and I'm breathing new life into him. You give me three more days, he won't be able to remember her name. <laughs> Elaine? Hmm? Here's to you being there. And here. <laughs> Excuse me. Beth. David. <sighs> Ow. I'll tell you, it's not bad. 